I'm just recording with the Insta360 X3 and uh, this is one of the best cameras I've ever had like it is like I've always wanted a action camera but I was always confused what should I go for with uh, is it the GoPro or the DJI Osmo but I think this one the X3 has really done a good job when it comes to uh, you know recording in action or doing a FPV thing like so I'm, I'm pretty much sure that you know this is gonna be like a replacement of you know go uh, like the GoPro and the DJ Osmo as well so I'm gonna be testing this out uh, uh, testing this product out how it performs in the daytime or the nighttime so right now I'm recording in the 360 mode and uh, you can s it, it actually captures like the whole uh, you know whole 360 all around you so you don't have to literally place your camera anywhere or you know look out for yourself as if you, if you have done the right framing or not but you can eventually edit that or reframe yourself in the post later so I'm just holding this camera with my hand itself and I don't think so I really need the tripod or the stick with me but it's so compact and at the same time with it for its size it does like if you look at it it does feel like it should it would be light but actually it is it has got some weight to it the video is actually being recorded on the insta insta 360 x3 and i don't know how the audio is going to be like because of the noise thought of giving it a shot not uh, taking out my camera today the sony a6400 which i have been using for quite a lot of time and uh, and over the mic that that i use which is a rode micro video micro so, but I thought of giving this particular device a shot and uh, let's see what all things it can do. Let me just put this on the stick itself and uh, we're gonna try to take a couple of amazing, I don't know, the shots, however, you know, we can we can do. I will be trying a couple of modes. There's uh, this me mode, which eventually a lot of people have tried doing so and which is eventually used for I mean they eventually call it the no shot I mean so this is this is how the no shot looks like and this is pretty funny I mean I look my face look at the look at my face how it you know kind of compresses it down and looks pretty weird so basically what it does is the camera if you are in the me mode uh, your camera will record from both the lenses basically from both the halves of the lenses the lower halves of the lenses and just creates a very unique kind of an effect which I'm, I'm sure the other uh, GoPro or cannot do so but I think this camera can really bring out the creativity that I wanna bring you know that I, 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 I try to do with my other cameras as well but I'm kind of you know I like to be weird and I like to be I, I would say weirdly creative uh, that's, that's what I kind of define myself but everyone has their own uh, you know thought process everyone has their own a way of looking at things and this is me so let's just do what this guy can do and let's take a couple of shots I think uh, this video, uh, the last shot which I recorded in the HDR mode, I think it uh, did a pretty good job in you know uh, preserving the highlights and also when it comes against the sun, it kind of reduces the sh you know brightness and makes your uh, video look very vibrant. So I think this could be a very good you know uh, vlogging camera as well. So which I am right now using it. So but. In post-production, I'll probably would have to look out for the audio. I don't know if you guys are getting the noise behind me. It can get pretty noisy for your videos while you're traveling because uh, for all the reasons, everyone wants clear audio and, you know, this can actually serve a pr pretty good thing. Uh, when the first Insta360 came out, I was pretty ke keen on getting that one, but I think I kind of waited for a good long time when the One X2 came in and now it's the X3. So it could be one of my good choices that, that could act as a secondary camera for myself because where I am right now, uh, I think 
people are kind of you know they, they really get intimidated by a big huge camera if I if I walk around like this but this is a very small camera and I think no one no one would really care about how it would feel like so and I'm walking in the pretty sunny day I mean it's a Saturday though but it's around what's the time it's around 4 30 in the evening and it's about you know it's it's kind of like the golden hour time for a good photography but I'm gonna be doing a you know going around in the streets and doing a couple of shots as well but today I'm just trying to test out this little beast of a camera and I think I'm, I, I've kind of started liking it all, all the more so let's I don't know I don't have the accessory for doing the bullet time I think which is like a, which gives like a matrix effect but let me try it with the selfie stick I don't know if that will actually work out or not who knows I mean you always got to do something different than the others or if this you really need that accessory or not or if you can create the same amount of like not amount if you can create the same uh, same effect with the selfie stick what can be better than that so yeah let's just give it a shot for you put your stick into it to basically stick it in turn on the camera and put on the bullet time mode and remember do stretch the stick so basically all you have to do is swing your stick in this motion to get a sideways and in this motion to get a top down way so now let's see the results So right now I'm using the me mode into it and uh, if you can see this pretty much captures like the whole uh, of you. This is a very unique way and a very intelligent way of you know filming yourself while you're walking around and you don't really have to worry about you know, getting into the frame because all is done by the camera everything is taken care of by the camera because it'll keep you probably in the center all you have to do is keep your stick right in you know at a certain level which you know basically the whole of you you can either do it in a 16 by 9 or a 9 by 16 ratio and i think this is like actually doing a pretty good job you know recording me i don't have to worry about all i have to do is just keep my stick to the level like this and people are probably looking at me like what a weirdo you know I don't know, right now the stick is almost around 120 centimeters fully open and how the audio is going to look like but this is how it feels, you know, holding a stick in public and walking around with no other reason so if I walk around, this is probably how the thing looks like but uh, this is my first time ever holding a stick, you know, in public like this so I feel pretty good Well, I've been recording uh, on the Insta360 for quite a long time now and it's pretty, you know, it's it's hot outside. So I think this, this you know, the camera, you know, you probably have to cool it down because it, it gets heated up so fast. And uh, I was just wondering if, if this could damage the device or not, but it did hung up on me while I was trying to record, you know, a, a video in between and I literally had to pull out the battery to restart the camera and start to do it i don't know if you if anyone of you guys you know who has the camera gone through the same issue but i think it did uh I, that was because of the rise in the temperature i don't have a temperature gun right now to check for it but i hope it shouldn't happen once again i've heard like there is a software update which kind of uh, reduces the heat like it which kind of kind of elim eliminates the uh, heating effect like the heating problem of this camera and also fixes some bugs so which I'm gonna do right now and let's see I think this is 
a great device for all the bloggers out there. The only problem uh, which I would face or which everyone would face and a lot of people have been facing is the lenses. The lenses are actually, you know, they, they are they're, they're kind of protruding out, you know, from the main body. So you are, you know, likely to get them scratched or you will always be in a fear of, you know, damaging them. Either you keep it on a surface or probably uh, whenever you put it in your pocket. If there is some, you know, key or coins in your pocket and you accidentally place that, uh, place the camera in your pocket, you will be damaging the device. So I would highly recommend to whenever you're buying this camera to get the lens guard. I have even heard that, uh, you know, people have scratched the lens guard, which is very fragile. It is not made up of any lens material or a tempered glass or something, but it's made out of plastic. But it's always good, you know, the guard gets scratched, but not the lens inside. So I think pretty much, uh, you know, put the guards on the lenses so that I don't scratch it easily. And I always put it in a in the pouch that I've got. This was like a short, you know, my first hands on my first day with the camera going out. But I'll be going out for a longer duration. I'll be going out almost every day if, if, I, if I get time and try to play around with this camera, try to create something new and which you're going to be, you know, going across. So I would highly recommend. And by the way, today's whole vlog was been filmed on the Insta360 X3 and I did not take out my camera for even a single moment. Let me know if you guys like how sounds like and also the videos look like because if you guys want this device, I would highly recommend for you guys you know, anyone who's starting off with their vlogging career or it's amazing. You have endless possibilities that you can do with this camera. So thanks it for now. I hope you guys like my video for today and do subscribe to this channel because I'm going to be bringing such, you know, content in the future itself, which is all about, you know, traveling and photography and all this stuff. So yeah, I'll just see you in the next one.